Microsoft is an American multinational technology company with headquarters in Redmond, Washington. It develops, manufactures, licenses, supports, and sells computer software, consumer electronics, personal computers, and related services. Its best known software products are the Microsoft Windows line of operating systems, the Microsoft Office Suite, and the Internet Explorer and Edge web browsers. Its flagship hardware products are the Xbox video game consoles and the Microsoft Surface lineup of touchscreen personal computers. Microsoft's product portfolio is absolutely vast, but in order to keep things manageable, the company sorts its product offerings into three major reporting segments. The first is its productivity and business processes segment, which includes its office and dynamic product lines, as well as LinkedIn, which was acquired back in 2016. Second is its intelligent cloud segment, which encompasses the company's server products, cloud services, and enterprise service offerings. And finally, there's the company's more personal computing business, which includes heavy hitters like its Windows licensing revenue and Xbox related revenue, as well as the revenue from its Surface family of products. First up, at number three, we have more personal computing. The more personal computing segment consists of products and services that put customers at the center of the experience with their technology. This segment primarily comprises of Windows, including Windows OEM and commercial licensing of the Windows operating system, cloud services, Internet of Things, and MSN advertising. The operating system is still the most used desktop operating system in the world. Windows OEM's revenue is derived from the purchases of Windows licenses by OEMs like HP and Dell, which they then pre-install on the devices they sell to consumers. Next up is devices including the Surface PC and other Microsoft intelligent devices. Revenue is derived from this segment from the sale of these devices to businesses and consumers directly. And finally, the gaming segment includes Xbox hardware and Xbox content and services, including Xbox Live transactions, Game Pass and other subscriptions, along with first-party video games and third-party game royalties. Xbox Game Studios, including heavy hitters like Mojang, who created the popular Minecraft game, 343 Industries, involved with the Halo series, and the recently announced acquisition of Bethesda, who developed the Elder Scrolls, Fallout and Doom series of games, is arguably the most important developer moving forward for Xbox and Microsoft. Microsoft launched its next generation Xbox consoles in November 2020, marking the official start of a new gaming console hardware cycle. It's also the first time the company has started a hardware generation by launching two consoles with different performance tiers and it appears to be having a strong debut. The Series X is Microsoft's most powerful console ever and more powerful than Sony's rival PlayStation 5 by most accounts. However, Microsoft appears to be pursuing a broader software and services strategy this time around, instead of prioritizing a single hardware platform. The company is making a big effort to promote its Netflix-like subscription service Xbox Game Pass. It's also looking to make its big budget games and overall subscription library accessible through its xCloud streaming service. The lower priced Series S console is still powerful compared to previous Xboxes, but it's much weaker than the Series X. The level of difference reflects Microsoft's goal of building a bigger gaming ecosystem, with the company also making its premium content available across PC and streaming based mobile platforms. This hardware cycle already looks to be very different. Microsoft's search engine Bing is also included in this segment which generates advertising revenue, similarly to how Google Search does. Microsoft's new Edge Internet Browser replaced the previous Internet Explorer and uses Bing as its search engine. In Q1 FY21, more personal computing generated $11.8 billion in revenue, comprising about 32% of total revenue. While revenue grew just 6.4% year over year for the segment, operating income actually rose 18.3%, to $4.7 billion. More personal computing accounts for about 30% of the company's total operating income. Coming in at number two is productivity and business processes. The productivity and business process segment consists of products and services in their portfolio of productivity, communication, and information services, which spans a variety of devices and platforms. This segment primarily comprises of Office Commercial, including Office 365 subscriptions and on-premise licenses consisting of Office, Exchange, SharePoint, 
Microsoft Teams, Skype for Business and related client access licenses. Revenue is derived from users subscribing to Microsoft's Office software suite. Services in this segment are intended to enhance personal and organizational productivities. This segment is a key driver of revenue in this business segment for Microsoft. Next up in this segment is LinkedIn, which is the business focused social media website focused on helping people cultivate their professional networks which was founded in 2002. The professional social network makes money by offering three categories of monetized solutions. Talent solutions, marketing solutions and premium subscriptions. It became profitable within five years and between 2007 and 2011, the year it went public, the company grew from 15 million members to more than 100 million. In 2016, LinkedIn was acquired by Microsoft, and the following year reported more than 500 million members in about 200 countries. Microsoft has taken a fairly hands-off approach with the acquisition, allowing LinkedIn to retain its core brand and culture. LinkedIn mainly provides Microsoft with a valuable social media platform that earns revenue through premium memberships. But it also generates commercial cloud revenue to Microsoft through LinkedIn's commercial business. Finally in this segment is Dynamics Business Solutions. This business provides cloud-based and on-premises business solutions for companies' applications like Enterprise Resource Planning or ERP and Customer Relationship Management or CRM. Dynamics revenue is driven by the number of users licensed, expansion of average revenue per user and the shift to Dynamics 365 which is the cloud component of Dynamics. In Q1 FY21, Productivity and business processes generated $12 billion in revenue, comprising more than 33% of Microsoft's total revenue. This amounted to an increase of 11% year over year, with operating income for the segment growing 19% to $5.7 billion, accounting for about 36% of the total, making it Microsoft's most profitable segment. If you're enjoying this style of video, feel free to give it a like to let me know and subscribe for more. Finally, coming in at number one is Intelligent Cloud. The Intelligent Cloud segment consists of public, private and hybrid server products and cloud services that can power modern businesses and developers. This segment primarily comprises of server products and cloud services, including Azure, Visual Studio and GitHub. Microsoft's server software provides integrated server infrastructure and middleware designed to support software apps built into Windows. Server products include Microsoft's SQL Server and Windows Server. Server products revenue is driven through volume licensing programs, licenses sold to OEMs, and retail packaged products. Microsoft also provides a comprehensive set of cloud services through Azure. This is in line with the secular growth of cloud computing as opposed to managing on-premises hardware and software. Azure makes money through users subscribing to its service. Next up is Enterprise Services, including Premier Support and Microsoft Consulting. Enterprise services like Microsoft Consulting are project-based engagements to help customers plan and implement Microsoft products so they can reap as much value from the Microsoft products as possible. In Q1 FY21, Intelligent Cloud generated $13 billion in revenue, accounting for almost 35% of the total. This segment's revenue is just slightly above that posted by productivity and business process segments, making it Microsoft's largest source of revenue. Up almost 20% year over year, Intelligent Cloud was also the fastest growing revenue segment for the quarter. It was also the fastest growing segment in terms of operating income, which was up almost 40% to $5.4 billion. Intelligent Cloud's operating income accounts for just over 34% of Microsoft's total operating income. Microsoft is a diverse business that allows investors to gain exposure to a wide array of compelling technology trends. It allows investors to participate in the stabilization of the PC market, the continued secular growth in gaming, and the booming cloud computing market, whilst the ongoing need for productivity software increases. If you are a fan of LinkedIn before it was acquired by Microsoft, owning Microsoft shares gets you exposure to that business too. The company is one of the most valuable technology companies for a very good reason, and investors looking to bet on a best-in-breed technology giant with many growth opportunities would be wise to give Microsoft a close look. 
With Microsoft having a very even revenue stream split, any one of these could easily grow and overtake another. Moving forward in the short term, the new Xbox consoles will sell really well, along with Xbox Game Pass revenue increasing, with new customers and longer term, their cloud computing segment will grow very well. There will always be a growing need for Microsoft Office products, as this is what the vast majority of computers are loaded with and people are familiar. Let me know in the comments what you think of Microsoft and whether they will continue to dominate the computer software market. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more stock market investing and business news. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.